Tonight's KSN Sports Report is sponsored by Melton Industries. The high school basketball state quarterfinals continue today. We began at Charles Coke Arena where Wichita East was looking to upset top ranked Shawnee Mission Northwest. Now Northwest up to here, but some great defense leads to offense for the Aces. Ishmael Berry gets the steal, passes it up course to up court to Manuel uh, Martinez for the slam, tie it up at 49. East tied down on the scoreboard again, but long outlet pass, and they're able to find Martinez for another layup. But Northwest. They are undefeated this season for a reason. A big part is Ethan Taylor. Big man gets the ball down low here, slams it and gets the foul. The Cougars are moving on to the state semifinals, but still what an incredible run for the Aces this postseason. Up in Emporia, we had the 5A girls quarterfinals with undefeated Andover High taking on Blue Valley Southwest. Alana Shetlar, she's going to dribble in and then drain the mid-range jumper to extend the lead. Brooke Walker, a star for Andover High, up top Top, drives in, somehow makes the tough shot and gets the foul. More from the Trojans. This time they kind of fumble it inside, but they're able to get outside to Katie Evans, who then buries the corner three. Walker again this time from mid-range off the inbounds splash Trojans they cruise to a round one victory and the Trojans they are moving on to the state semifinals let's bring in KSN's Asia Simone Smith she joins us live from Emporia with more on Andover High's big win but Asia May South they're in action right now yeah, Zach, it's a very busy day up here in Emporia. May South is currently on the court playing St. Thomas Aquinas. It's the second quarter, and the Mavericks are leading by two points. But my goodness, are we still thinking about that dominant performance from the Andover girls just hours ago, taking down Blue Valley Southwest big time. But that game actually didn't start off very quickly. It started out kind of slow, and the Trojans were trailing after the first quarter, and they found a narrow lead by halftime. But the team really showed some grit after the first half and pulled away by 23 points to remain undefeated this season. Here's coach on what changed in the second half. We played more aggressive. We play, picked up the defensive end then, which in turn, I think, led to our offense. And um, we got to be able to get out and, uh, you know, get in the open floor and score some easy buckets. And that always helps the confidence. And I just thought we were sharing the ball, playing good team ball. Um, I feel like we kind of, the first half, we maybe did a little too much one-on-one. -on -one, and so I thought we trust, we did a little bit more trust the second half and really swung the ball and got some open looks. Really did. Uh come up big time today. They were looking to come out with a win. They were fourth place in the state championship tournament last year. I talked to senior Brooke Walker after the game and she says they are determined to come out with the win and not go home until they get that done. They will be playing Topeka Seaman tomorrow at four o'clock. Here for you in Emporia, Asia Simone Smith, KSN Sports. We'll be right back after the break.